best match. Hands down, you can't convince me otherwise. This episode, Karasuno versus Alba Josai. Match point. Best play ever. Ever. Oh, that was so good, guys. I couldn't believe it. It was literally heart stopping. I, I was all like, I was all like, whoa, am I breathing right now? Like, honestly, that was literally a heart stopping play. I'm fine. <laughs> of course, I'm overreacting a little bit. But literally, as I was watching the episode, I, I was like a statue. I literally could not move. I questioned if I was still alive at the moment out of the utter awesomeness that I was seeing on the screen. Just, oh, guys, that play was so good at the end, man. Everyone was doing their absolute best, putting out a 120% of their abilities, just quick on their feet, doing every possible thing they could to make sure that their team got the final point. And oh my gosh, guys. Oh, that was that was so good. The ending of this episode. Just, 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 oh, just fantastic episode. Really enjoyable episode, okay? It's totally awake the entire time. Never zoned out once. Just this episode. Fantastic. Okay, so enough me fangasming. Let's get down to the review. So with this episode, we see Karasuno going in and really, like I said earlier, like giving it their all. But what they did that really surprised me was first with Hinata. And it wasn't exactly a spike, I would say. But Iwazumi, he came up, you know, to block Hinata. And then like literally right at the corner, right at the corner over here, close to the out of bounds range. Hinata just boop, just smacks it right there. No power whatsoever, just boop, right down there. And <laughs> they got the point. And I'm like, Hinata, you're still thinking. I love it. I love it. Hinata, whenever he uses his head, is always an epic moment. And I love it every single time. And then later on, we have Kagayama with that dunk. Okay, that was so cool. Everyone was ready to block. It was one of Karasuno's classic tactics when, you know, all the members come in and you kind of have to figure out which one Kagiyama is going to set it to. It was one of those plays. So everyone was prepared, even the members on Karasuno's team, they were ready to spike that ball, but no. No. Kagiyama dunked it. And then Oikawa, he got so upset. Yo, Oikawa was pissed off throughout this episode. He kept on saying, you brats, like, oh my gosh, Oikawa was mad. He was so mad, man. Oh my gosh. And then you just see Oikawa looking up at Kageyama. He's so mad. He's steaming, man, his face, the, the details on his face, man. Oh, he was, he was so mad. He was so done. He needed to defeat Karasuno. And then we also have Suga coming in, having that nice save over there when, you know, Suga, when it was like his turn to serve, and then the ball was coming back at them, and it was actually went behind Kageyama and Hinata. So it almost hit the ground. Then Suga comes in, dives, saves that ball from touching the ground, and they were able to get it over the net, and just, oh man. Both teams, they were really having at it this episode. They kept tying throughout the majority of the episode, but then when it came to Karasuno's match point, that was the one, that was the one. That play made this very match the greatest match in Haikyuu. Which by the way, I forgot to mention, a season three has been announced. We are getting a season three this year, fall 2016, expect Haikyuu season three. We're getting it, guys, we're getting it. I'm so happy, like, I already knew Haikyuu was very popular over in Japan, but thank goodness, because manga readers, they were telling me stuff like how that we're probably not gonna get a season three for another, like, year or so. So I'm guessing that season three is probably gonna be about 13 episodes or so. I don't think we're gonna get a whole 25 episodes, unless if, a lot of chapters are like really starting to come out rapidly right now as of this moment, but I don't know, I don't read the manga. So just 
Wow, fantastic guys. <sighs> just, just, just grade A episode. Animation, oh, the animation was so good. So good, this animation. The fluidity, the cinematography, just all the angles. Like when Suga was serving, you saw like his point of view with the ball in front of like the camera and everything. It was just, oh man, so amazing. I love this episode. So next week's the finale. We're probably gonna have, you know, just Karasuno all pumped up and stuff, and you know, Kageyama needs to talk to Oikawa. I wonder how Oikawa's gonna be like. Is he gonna be a little mad, or is he gonna man up and just be all like, good game? I don't know. I don't know. So. <sighs> they did it. They got their revenge. And I'm so proud of Karasuno. They're going to nationals, guys. They're going to nationals season three. Season three. Okay. All right. I'm going to end it right here, guys. Catch you tomorrow as I review Ajin and Height Against So No Grimgar. I'm your female Otaku. Sayonara.